Mmm. Tastes like guava paste already. Keep squeezing enough, I guess. You working? I think so. Here, keep it going. See what's underneath. Um, well, looks like it's gonna work. Is that what we're after? Yeah, we're after that. Which is the pulp and all that juice and all that. See, this is too many seeds. Mm -hmm. Need the jam of seeds. Okay. We'll just put that back in the pot. See if we can get some more out of it later. Okay. Let me look at this. Yep, that's what we got. Very cool. Okay. The strainer wasn't too big. No, it's mm -hmm. actually okay. I think so. I'm sure. This is how big the guavas were growing. They're not big. That's a half. That's what we got. That's the guava puree. And we're going to put eight cups in our pot, back in our pot. That's one. Let's hope there's eight. Two. Three, four, uh oh. Maybe not. Five, six. Okay, we got, we got six. Six ish. Six ish. And it calls for a cup and a half of water. Okay, so we want to heat this slowly so it doesn't burn. So I'm going to put it on low. Halfway. Okay. We need, okay, so we need, we'll do four and a half cups of sugar. My sugar. Okay, let it say put the water in next. Hang on. Uh, transfer. Oh, yeah, we read a recipe. Transfer the puree back in the pot. Add the lemon juice and zest. Bring to a boil and add the sugar one batch at a time. Two. Three. Three tablespoons equals one lemon. All right, so we got to put parchment paper in the pot. And what happens when you take the flat stuff and the tray? Pop it in there, what happens? It's a mess. So you do this. You turn it over, you lay it down, and you crimp it. Crimp it along that edge. Crimp it on the other side. Then you crimp it on the end. And like I said, she kind of fold the end. And you crimp this side. You kind of do like a bed sheet. See? Fold it in. Okay, now you're going to turn it over. And you're going to turn this over. It's a lot easier to get it lined up in here. Then it stays. Ta da! Very nice. Uh, it worked. Yeah, it worked. Otherwise, you're struggling trying to jam this thing in here. So we're going to pour the, once that's done, we're going to pour this in here to cool off and get hurt.
And how much do we need for the the other? We need a little bit for the other, right? Okay. Some uh, parchment paper. Now we just gotta let it cool. Mm -hmm. I'll put some 